Empower Pro installation. Before we start with connection and installation of the Empower Pro, let us know about various LED indicators and buttons on the panel. Introduction to panel. These are the R, Y and B terminals where the incoming main supply will be connected. Terminals S1, 18, 28, 38 and S2 are used for joining the wires or cables coming from the starter. This is the power on delay timer which can be set from 30 seconds to 5 minutes. This is the dry run reset delay timer which can be set from 30 minutes to 300 minutes. This is the star delta delay timer which can be set between 2 seconds and 30 seconds. These are the LEDs for a variety of indications. Most of these LEDs are used for a dual purpose. This is a power on LED and is also used for phase reversal indication. While a steady glow indicates power on, continuous blinking indicates phase reversal. This is a fault indication LED for voltage single phasing and voltage unbalance. A steady glow indicates voltage single phasing fault, while continuous blinking indicates voltage unbalanced fault. This fault indication LED is for under voltage and over voltage. Here the steady glow indicates under voltage fault and continuous blinking indicates over voltage fault. This is a dry run fault indicating LED. It glows steadily when dry run fault occurs. This is network LED which blinks as per the signal strength. This is the active and bypass mode selection switch. When it is in bypass mode, all protections are disabled. The protections are enabled when it is in active mode. Remember that the auto and manual modes can be configured only when the unit is in active mode. This load set push button is used for setting the load current of the motor for dry run protection. Installation The installation procedure for M-Power Pro can be completed in a few easy steps. Let us now understand these steps. Insertion of SIM card The slot for inserting the SIM card into the unit has been provided on left hand side. Insert the card properly as per the indicated orientation into the unit. Remember that the GSM antenna has to be outside the panel before powering on the unit. When you power it on, the power on LED will start glowing steadily. If it is blinking, it indicates phase reversal fault. To clear the fault, interchange the Y and B phases of the incoming power supply to the starter. Now check the LED again and ensure that it is glowing steadily in green color indicating that the supply is healthy. Check for other faults like over voltage and under voltage. In case of a fault, wait till the system recovers to a healthy supply voltage. Next, check the network LED. If the SIM card is not inserted, this LED will remain off. Now position and fix the GSM antenna so as to get the best possible signal strength. The network LED will blink as per the network strength. Faster blinking indicates good network strength. Keep the power on for one minute and then it is time for master registration. It takes about one minute for initialization of the system. Therefore, the system will not allow master registration before that. The procedure for registering your mobile number as the main master is as follows. Put the mode selection slider switch in bypass mode. Press the load set push button. The three red LEDs on the left hand side of the power LED will start blinking simultaneously, indicating that the master registration mode has been initiated. Now call the number of the SIM inserted into the M-Power Pro unit. 
You have to connect this call within 2 minutes and 30 seconds after pressing the load set push button. If the call is not placed during this period, the unit comes out of the master registration mode. Hence, you will have to press the load set push button again before calling. The unit will automatically cut your call after one ring and the LEDs will stop blinking indicating that the master number registration is complete. You will receive an SMS after the number is successfully registered. In case another number is previously registered as the master, both the old and the new master will receive the information through SMS about the new main master. You will receive an SMS with the text main master colon 10 digit phone number of master. The unit will restart automatically after the master registration and will also give a call to the master number. Now move the mode selection slider switch from bypass mode to active mode. This will make manual mode as the default mode for the starter to which the MPower Pro unit is connected. The mode can be changed by sending an SMS to the unit. For changing from manual to auto mode, send SMS star 240 space 1 hash to the unit. For changing from auto to manual mode, send SMS star 240 space 0 hash to the unit. Setting of load current. For setting load current, ensure that the pump is on. The supply is healthy and no fault is present in the system. When all these conditions are met, move the mode selection slider switch to active mode and press the load set button. The DRP LED will start blinking continuously. Keep the button pressed till this LED goes off, indicating that the load current has been set. You will receive an SMS confirming the set load current. Dry run fault. In case of a dry run fault, the DRP LED will start glowing steadily and the pump will turn off. The master as well as the user numbers will get an intimation of the fault via SMS as well as a call from the unit. It will resume operation once the dry run reset delay as shown in this timer is over. The default dry run pickup threshold is 90%. The dry run threshold can be set from 40 to 90% through an SMS or a mobile app. Thus, we have completed the installation of M Power Pro unit.